plants are pretty amazing things. They're able to use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugars and oxygen, which all life on Earth needs. They give us food, they give us clothing, they give us shelter, and so much more. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about plants through understanding the life cycle of flowering plants. You probably know that plants grow out of a seed. Once that seed germinates, a tiny sprout emerges from the ground and starts photosynthesizing. As this little sprout gets bigger, it can then produce a flower. Then something comes along, perhaps a bee, bat, fly, or gust of wind, and the flower gets pollinated. This allows the flower to transform into a fruit. And within that fruit are new seeds, ready to be dispersed into the world to make new plants. Not all plants have a life cycle exactly like this. Some plants spread through spores or underground stems, and some don't make flowers at all, like our local pines, spruces, and fir trees. But today, since it's spring and there are flowers around to observe, we're just going to focus on the simple life cycle of flowering plants. So here's your challenge today. You're gonna need to find every life cycle stage for a flowering plant. A seed, a sprout, a flower, and a fruit. Got it? Let's see if I can do it first. Here I am underneath an apple tree. So I have a pretty good feeling I can find at least two different life cycle stages under here. I definitely found an old apple from last fall. It's pretty squishy and kind of brown, but hmm, I wonder if there's any seed inside. There is. So I found a fruit and a seed already on the ground, ready for this fleshy part of the fruit to break down into the soil, leaving just the seed behind so that hopefully a new apple tree can grow someday. Hmm, I wonder where I can find any flowers around here. Oh wait, they're everywhere. I have bluets here and wild strawberries, two really common flowers to see in May in Maine. Look at all these baby plants. 